Unlike uh, Joe Biden and uh, a whole lot of others in the Democrat Party, he said, I refuse to participate in a campaign to scare voters with the idea that Trump will end our democratic system. Now, that's some uh, pretty straightforward stuff from a Democrat congressman from Maine. Uh, and the Democrats are saying Trump is elected. It's the end of democracy itself, and therefore he must be defeated. And this Democrat congressman is calling Huey on that. Because they can't run on anything else but fear, right? If you look at the record, the record speaks for itself from Afghanistan to Gaza to Ukraine to a 20 percent increase in prices to border crossings up you know, quadrupling from when he took office to December of this past year. So they have to rely on fear. And the reality is, is that I don't like Joe Biden, and I certainly do not love what the progressive legal movement has done both against Trump, you know, it's, that's a political prosecution, but more from not prosecuting violent crime in all of our cities, including this one. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. democracy isn't over, right? We have a very effective system for a reason. Again, we have to point out a big reason why this is happening is because internal Democratic polling got, le got leaked, and mm -hmm. Maine is now a draw. The state of Maine is now a draw between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And he's reading the tea leaves. The writing is on the wall. He's right. It's done. Amazing. So, uh, Jason, Congressman Golden's going to have to be thrown out of the party and punished, right? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I, I, first of all, I kind of see where he was going, particularly if you tell people that, uh, or at least on one side, if you tell people that democracy is ending and Republicans did this a little bit in 2020, they don't participate in the same levels. So now him saying Donald Trump's definitely going to be president, I think is irresponsible four months out from an election. We have plenty of time and there are all kinds of swings that can happen and all kinds of things that can happen. Uh, but I, I would definitely say that you know, he's allowed to say these things, and he's saying, look, I'm going to have to work with whomever, and democracy will change as we know it. Doesn't mean it's going to be completely over. Uh, it uh, changes every day, uh, just to watch the Just news. like the weather. Since you, it is. <laughs> uh, since you mention it, uh, he, he went on, he continued in his piece in the Bangor Daily News. He said, in 2025, I believe Trump is going to be in the White House. Maine's representatives, he said, will need to work with him when it benefits Mainers, hold him accountable when it does does not, and work independently across the aisle no matter what. What kind of madness is this? Wow. Well, you know, Jared Golden is not going to be invited to speak at the DNC <laughs> convention. That much we know. But, you know, and I actually do agree with Jason. I, I don't, I think it's got to, Republicans have to be very careful that they don't just say, oh, Trump's got it in the bag. I know, Matt, oh, you and I disagree on this thing. It's it, because the Republicans need to make sure they have the infrastructure in place. Mm -hmm. I do think it's bold that Golden came out, Congressman Golden came out. Um, but he was obviously one of those congressional districts where uh, you know, a Republican was there, and he he mm -hmm. he won. So it's a vulnerable district. So he's yeah. he's trying to play his cards. He, he he's won, like a poker player. Trump, Trump won this. Sane and rational. Yeah, Trump won this district right. in 2016. So the fact that yeah. Maine is a draw. You know, these states are coming online, and Maine's one of them. That's right. I was saying on my radio show today that I think the Republicans should come out with a, a strategy where they say, if Joe Biden is elected, all life on Earth will end. Not just human life, all mammals. Well, dear, I know where I'm life. going. I'm, go I'm trying to get to heaven. I don't all, know about you, Chris, all, all but that's right. All sea life, all to. plant life will die <laughs> yes. if Joe Biden is uh, reelected to the presidency. And then they can reveal, oh, we're just kidding. We're but, just making fun of the Democrat Party's rhetoric. And the grand irony of, of both sides constantly catastrophizing, and yes, Republicans were totally embarrassingly guilty of it in 2020, is that there is, let's say, 30 percent on either side that will vote for a bag of t potatoes with a D on it if it's running up against Donald Trump, right? Yeah. Probably 30 percent of Republicans that would vote for a bag of potatoes with an R on it if it's up against Joe Biden. But then there is a vast center of the country that is just over that catastrophizing, and they want to vote on records. And this is this is a record election. Well, this they want to. It's, 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 I think they want to vote more so on these, on their like the kitchen table issues. Yes. Like, I don't have I, money in my I pocket. Think, this is a problem. I think There's crime in my community. Average weekly wages are down five percent since Joe Biden took office. I think it's. I think there's a small sliver that is persuadable, and then you have this to go out and fight this, for them. This I don't think it's as large as you probably. This think. election will be down to 10,000, 10, 15,000 votes in some of these, um, in some of these swing states. That that's the small, small sliver. I